Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with IOI EC 1725 2017 edition. And now the last clause in resources requirements 6 6 externally provided products and services. And you should know that this clause combines the concept of purchasing and subcontracting together. The lab shall ensure that only suitable externally provided products and services that affect the lab activities and results are used because these services or product will affect the lab activities after that. So the lab shall ensure that these products and services are suitable for the lab. So when such products and service first point are intended for incorporation into labs own activities such as an instrument for analysis if you will buy an instrument for analysis these are products an instrument for analysis auxiliary parts equipments all equipments standards an instrument for analysis reference material all of these uh, equipments shall be suitable for methods and suitable for the lab and also service such as uh, uh, external calibration calibration by an external lab as I explained in the previous lecture shall be by a content calibration lab so service shall be provided by a suitable lab also uh, we can say subcontract with another lab to uh, do or do lab activity instead of the lab for some time temporary subcontract so any service and the product will be provided to the lab shall be suitable to the lab and the lab shall ensure that and also when such products and services are provided in part or in full directly to the customer by the lab as received from the external provider and this point relating to subcontracting with another lab as example for analysis of a specific target analytes is if the lab for some reason cannot analyze specific target analytes for the customer because of some reason because of deficiency as example deficiency in facilities required to analyze these target analytes so in this case the lab will make a contract or subcontract with the, another lab with another lab to analyze these target analytes for a specific period and that will be temporary subcontract in this case the lab shall ensure the competency of this lab and shall ensure that this lab fulfill the requirement of this document and also other guidelines and has the all or has all facilities required to analyze these target analytes and can achieve all requirements for this method and for this these target analytes also when such products and services are used to support the operation of the lab so if these products or services will affect at the end the lab activities and results so we have to we shall ensure that these products and services suitable for lab activities and for lab methods and for lab results and also you will find note in 661 products can include equipments all equipments Equipments as in the new edition include in instruments, auxiliary parts, reference material, reference data, measurement standards. So all equipments included under products. And services can include calibration service, sampling service, testing service, facility and equipment maintenance, PT providing, auditing, even auditing and assessment also from the service provided to the lab. So external provider or who will provide any service or product to the lab shall be suitable and shall achieve the requirement of this document and the lab and customer of the lab. And in regards to subcontracting, the procedure for reviewing request standards and contracts that will be in process requirement in 7.1 this procedure shall include labs information to the customer of the external provided activities and the lab in this case shall get approval from the customer before starting the lab activity as in 711C 
the lab shall advise the customer of the lab activities to be performed specific lab activities to be performed by an external provider and they shall advise him by this external provider because he is competent in this lab activity and he has all facilities and they shall gain customer approval before starting the lab activity lab shall have procedure and the retained records for all of these points so you can combine all of these points in one procedure but you have to prepare this procedure first point defining reviewing and approving the labs requirement of the external provided products and services so first point you shall define or determine what are the requirements for the lab relating to products or services from the external providers and that will be by technical lead for each unit who will send to the purchasing officer then purchasing officer will continue this process defining the criteria for evaluation first evaluation what are the criteria for evaluation of this product or service and that will be in tenders you will have financial and technical evaluation selection select the best external provider monitoring of performance after you will get the product or service you shall monitor the performance of this product or service it if it's good or not and after that re-evaluation of the external providers and for this point you shall prepare a list of the external providers that they are working who are working with the lab who are providing products and service to the lab then you will re-evaluate them after that if you found that their products and services are good and still good so you can use them in the future but if you found that performance of their products or service became not good after that so you shall remove them from the list and don't deal with them in the future and after that also ensuring the, that external provided products and services conform to the lab requirement and requirement of this document if you want any service as I explained before from the external provider you shall ensure that this service conform to the lab requirement and uh, lab activity in the lab and also requirement of ISO IEC 17025 2017 edition and also other guidelines used and at the end the last point actions what are the actions taken after re-evaluation if you found that the service or product from any of these external providers used before as I said not good so in this case you shall remove them from the list of external provider that you that you will use in the future and that will be the procedure procedure for purchasing services and the products and this is the best name or you can say external provided products and the service but you should mention purchasing also because that will be related to purchasing the purpose of this procedure is to define the lab's requirement of products and service what are the requirements for the lab define the criteria for evaluation monitoring of performance and re-evaluation of external providers to ensure that they are competent and they are conformed to the lab requirement and the requirement of this document and define the actions taken after re-evaluation to eliminate any risk that may affect the lab activities scope of this procedure this procedure will be applied to all products and services that will be provided to the lab by an external provider the procedure first point request approval and the procurement so you will define the requirements for the lab and that will be by the technical lead so requirements for purchasing of any supply to the lab shall be initiated by the technical lead for each unit each unit will send their requirement to the technical lead of the unit to revise and approve this then after that he will send 
them these requirements to the purchasing officer and purchasing officer will collect all requirements from each unit from each technical lead of each unit then he will prepare or record a, a, a requisition form a requisition form he will prepare all requirements in one form then he will send to the lab head to approve and after the lab head approval he will resend them again to the purchasing office officer for further process and second point in this procedure criteria for evaluation selection monitoring of performance and re-evaluation of the external providers there should be a specific criteria for acceptance of services or products from suppliers and that will be based on the supplies required that can be determined by the technical lead for each unit because they have the experience to say that this product or this service can meet the requirement of this document and can meet the requirement of the lab and the lab activities and can give or get the required results and for products as i explained in equipments in equipment close of equipments products include all equipments inside the lab so you can go back for this uh, close and also services I explained in metrological traceability all details about the requirement for each of them after acceptance of the external provider to do the service or to provide with the, any product monitoring performance of the external provider but first we shall know that cleaning service PT service or any other service calibration service or any other service shall be selected based on the suppliers reputation and international certification related to their field and the lab shall have a contract with them with that external provider with a clear, clear and detailed instructions of the service provided and after you will make contract with the external provider to provide you with this service you shall evaluate their services so evaluation of the service shall be recorded in a specific form and that form will include is it conform to lab requirement do they have all facilities required to do these lab activities can they achieve the required accuracy is it conform to this document and you can find also other questions to record in this form and if you found that the service provided was satisfactory after evaluation satisfactory to the lab so the supplier can be listed in the list of approved suppliers in this list you will record all suppliers that you approved to be used in the future and that will be like history for the lab if you want after that any service or product from external provider in this case you can find them from list of approved suppliers and after evaluation of the service you shall monitor the performance of this service so monitoring of performance and the re-evaluation of the external provider shall be yearly taking place every year to ensure their competency and if there is any issue affecting the performance of this lab activity or this service actions shall be taken immediately by not dealing with them and you shall remove them for, from the list of approved suppliers if there is any issue affecting the performance because quality of the service shall be always maintained because that will affect the lab activity and lab results and will affect on the confidence with the customer and the last requirement of this clause lab shall communicate its requirement to the external provider for the product and service to be provider requirement and that's mentioned before in the previous point the acceptance criteria also mentioned before contents including any required qualification of the personal personnel that will do the lab activity activities that the lab or its customer intends to perform at the external providers Premises. and I found this point is just more details but it's explained has been explained before in the previous points and from the main changes compared to the previous edition in the previous edition list of approved suppliers and vendors it was there mentioned in 464 but in 2017 edition it's not mentioned list of approved suppliers but I found still this list is very important to be as a history for the lab that was the end of our lecture for today thank you and see you in the next lecture inshallah